Okay, for those of you who were born in the last um, 300 years, you've probably been used to uh, computers having this sort of mouse thing that you can move a cursor around and select windows and click on things and uh, so forth. But um, if you were born more than 300 years ago, um, when uh, computers were invented in ooh, 1066, um, you didn't have graphical interfaces because there's no such thing as a mouse. There was no mouse to move around. Uh, and so this is what uh, people used to have. And in fact, you would buy a computer, uh, plug it all in, switch it on, and that's what you get. You just get a black screen uh, with a, uh, a cursor blinking away, and it would sit there waiting you for you to uh, to do something. And this is this is called um, uh, the, the uh, command prompt, which you can see is this label there, command prompt. Uh, and most operating systems will have buried in them somewhere a command prompt. And in fact, there are certain operating systems. If I just find this little picture here, here is a, uh, a distribution of um, uh, Unix. Um, and when you fire that up, um, that picture there is what you get. You get nothing on there. There is no mouse capability whatsoever. It's just a, uh, a cursor waiting for you to do something. So uh, the command prompt is still very much alive and well in the um, in the background of uh, com uh, computers. Uh, but um, in terms of using command prompt, um, there's only uh, oh, half a dozen maximum commands that you really would ever want to use, and they're mirrored very much by the. Uh, uh, by the, the the GUI interface up here, so I'm just going to take you through a couple of things um, to to give you an idea of how these things work. So that's that. I'm working off the memory stick again. Uh, that's the F drive. You can see it's given me a directory listing automatically here. Here's the F, F drive, but it hasn't given me a directory or a listing automatically. Uh, so to get a, a directory listing, um, well, first of all, let, let me explain. If you're on the command prompt, if you're really stuck, if you type help, it'll tell you all the commands that you can use on the command prompt. And there we are. Um, and uh, of all those commands there, as I say, there's only probably half a dozen tops that you'd want to uh, use. Uh, I'm going to use one here called uh, directory dir, and it says directory displays a list of the files or subdirectories in, in the particular directory you're working in. So if I go, oh, let me just show you one more while I'm quickly here. Um, it's, uh, where is it? CLS clears the screen. So I'm just going to type, uh, first of all, CLS clear the screen, and I type dir. And there's the directory listing, and that uh, should be all the directories, which you you, you probably know them as folders. Uh, those are all the directories here, and then there are some files, not quite in exactly the same order as this. So if you want to find out more about um, uh, these commands, if you uh, go to just, ooh, just drag that over here, if you Wikipedia list of MS DOS commands, they're all in there. DIR, let's have a look at that. Those are things you can uh, type uh, slash O. That'll give us a list of files in alphabetical order. Okay, let's just move that out of the way again. Um, so let's do the same thing here. Uh, DIR slash O. And that list should look pretty well identical to that list. Clips, computer systems, downloads, Java, all the way down. Uh, directories first, and then some folders, bank account class, so forth here. Um, so if I was to click on, ooh, I don't know, my website, takes me into that um, uh, uh, directory. It's done two things there. One is that it's moved me from uh, my website. The second thing is it gave me a directory listing. So that's two commands. I can do the same thing here. I can change directory. And again, if you type help, you'll see uh, uh, change directories in there. Uh, change directory to my website. And you'll see now the cursors, uh, the path has come up as uh, my website. And the path here says F my website. They're the same. And then I can do DIR slash show that is the same as the files that are there. A couple of dots have appeared um, there. Those allow you to go uh, back up a directory. So if I do cd double dot, it'll take me back up a directory. That would be the equivalent of me using the back arrow here, going uh, backwards like that. Now, if I go to change directory my uh, website, um, and double click on this. Just want to keep these both in sync so you can see what's going on here. Uh, let's create a let's make a directory. So MD for making a directory, uh, directory. Let's call it uh, directory uh, A. Let's say. And if I do DIR now, we can see a directory A is there. I can do CD. And I'm in directory A. Directory A has appeared there. So those two paths are looking the same. And uh, let's say um, I wanted to uh, 
MD, B, uh, CD. If you press F3, it will uh, give you uh, the letters after whatever you just typed. So I t typed in two the characters one, two, and the space, and they gave me whatever I previously typed in. If you just press F3, changes that directory. So those are uh, uh, both the same paths here. See, it says path is my website, directory A, directory B. I've got exactly the same thing going up here. And I can actually change all the way back down by CD backslash takes me to A, CD backslash takes me further down. That's how they work. If I want to remove that directory, I want to do remove directory, D I R F T R E uh, directory. Now, it won't remove that at the moment because we have something in directory A. So if I press that, it'll tell me it's not empty. So I've got to go back into um, CD, DI, RFTRE, uh, A, uh, DIR, it's directory B. So I now want to do remove directory, DI, group B, DIR, it's gone. CD, backslash, DIR, there's directory A. So to do gets rid of that. So that's um, basically how you go backwards and forwards uh, in these uh, directories. Now, uh, something I was showing you here is a path. When you actually decide to run a program, um, what the computer will do is it'll look for that program in the directory right at the moment, and if it's not there, it'll then search through all the paths that has been set uh, in the operating system uh, by the, uh, the, uh, the, ad the admin, whoever set up the computer. So if I type path at this uh, point here, you'll see the computer's already got a bunch of paths already set in. They're all separated by semicolons. If I press that, it will look in, it, when it tries to run a program, it'll look in C, Windows, System32. It will look in C, Windows. It'll look in C, Windows, System32, WBEN. It'll look in C, Program Files, Microsoft SQL Server, 100 Tools, blah, blah, blah. It'll run, look at another one there. It'll look in, so I don't know, let's go down here. It says C, Windows, System32, Windows PowerShell, version 1, and so on and so forth. And in fact, I've already got set, got it set up because I, I use, because uh, I program a lot of Java stuff on here. It's already got the Java path set up here to allow me to get to the Java files. C, Program Files, Java, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, now, how you would normally try and set that, if you had the ability to uh, write those files to the computer yourself, and most MIS departments won't let you do that, but you would go into uh, something like, uh, let's have a look, what am I in? I'm in XP, so it's going to be um, system, I'm guessing. It tends to be pretty buried, so it's system, it's going to be uh, advanced, it's going to be environmental var variables, and there is the path setting. I did tell you it was buried. So if, it, if I, if you look at that path, you see it says C Windows System 32, C Windows, blah blah blah, and uh, you can edit that if you if you like. I don't want to touch it. It's a very long file, um, but that's basically what you would have to uh, uh, to edit if you wanted to um, alter the path statement uh, to find uh, particular files in certain paths. Um, Somebody was asking me earlier on as to why you want to do that. Well, that's the reason. You need to basically uh, alter the uh, uh, the path statement. And just a couple of other things I want to show you. Copy, it tends to be a pretty uh, handy thing. And you'll find that once you get slick, you can do copying for selected files a lot quicker at the command prompt than you can by using your uh, click and control click and uh, alt click with, uh, with a mouse. And let's do DIR. Uh, in here, see what I've got. Uh, home page, second page, my style sheet. Let's say I want to grab uh, all those HTML files and just back them up somewhere. So let's do make directory called, oh, I don't know, back up, something like that. Uh, DIR. So I've now got home page, second page, style sheet, and a directory called backup. And I'll make copies of home page and second page. So what I would do is go copy star.html uh, to backup. Done. CD back up. DIR. There they are. I defy you to do that as quick using a mouse as you can using a command prompt. Have a little play. Remember, HELP will show you all the commands that you can use, and uh, you'll find you only need half a dozen of those to be able to drive your way around a command prompt. And the command prompt is doing with a keyboard exactly the same sort of things that you would do with a uh, 